Hey YouTube, Peyton Fisher here with Cantina West. Today, we're gonna to be doing a review on five different parabolic dishes. We're gonna talk a little bit about the specifications between each cooker, and then we're gonna have a boil off. Which one of these cookers can boil one liter of water the fastest? So, let's go ahead and give it a shot. So this is our solar flame. It's one of our deep dish parabolic dishes. We have a nice rectangular square uh, pot receptacle here. Under here, we have our standard tripod size base with a quick attach here. We can unscrew this really easily. You can fold that up and make it a little bit easier to store. This has the anodized aluminum on it, so it is never gonna rust or wear. In about five to 10 years, you're gonna lose about 10 to 15% of the reflectancy. So it will last a really long time. Let's see how this one does up on the test. Now we are on to our very own solar burner. This is one of the cookers that we actually manufacture at Cantina West. Go ahead and pull this cover off here. Bring our pot receptacle out here. That's really, really hot right there. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this away from the sun and be smart before we attach this. It's always a good lesson to learn. Place this in here, tighten this down. Set her here, we'll turn this back this way. I really burnt myself. <laughs> we have a thin steel panel with a mylar adhesive on here. This, these panels will last between five to 10 years. You always wanna make sure on with any line, you never take anything with abrasive materials to clean these off. We're gonna go ahead and lift this, or we're gonna spin this right around here. You can see the base here. We had a tripod assembly at first, but we realized it was a little bit harder to move around, so we went ahead and we put these caster wheels on it. We've got an adjuster here that makes the, the panel move up and down. And then, as you turn this back around, we, we put a brace here, so that way you could put a heavier pan on there. So this cooker generally heats between eight and 900 degrees. Let's see how this goes up to the test. All right, this is the sun shift. This also has a really nice anodized aluminum, which will never rust or corrode. In about 10 years, you'll still have about 80 to 90% reflectancy. Very, very good material. You're with an aluminum base and frame, which makes it fairly light. You're looking at about 23 to 25 pounds for this model. So if we tilt this up here, we're gonna be looking at a base here that actually folds up collapse. It's really nice to stack that base away, to hide it away. It makes this a lot easier to store. So let's go ahead and let's see how this matches up to the test. All right, now we are looking at the sole source here. This has been called the Cadillac of the parabolic dishes. So we get our cover off here. We see that this looks a lot different than any other parabolic dish. Well, Soul Source actually invented this so you could cook from behind and so you wouldn't get a sun reflection. They also have a focal finder. When you look down here, when you place your pot right over the focal point, you can see that it's hitting right on. <clears throat> if we spin this around here, you can see a couple different features on how we move the panel up and down, adjust this, up and down, which is very easy. And then when you're moving side to side, if you're ever on a windy day, you can just reach your foot down here and click this right in to anyone on a windy day. That way it won't move back and forth. Also have the tripod stand with holes so you can punch stakes into the ground. Makes it very, very easy. So we'll just pop that up, spin it back around here, and we We'll move on to our next cooker. All right, last but not least, we have our Cookup 200. The Cookup 200 is very nice because it's extremely light. As you can see, it's only about 15 pounds. Our reflectors here are also made out of a, a reflective vinyl that will last five to 10 years. Most industry standards are around that. It has a four leg base. Therefore, you can put a lot of weight right inside of the dish receptacle here. All right, now that we've done our reviews, let's go see how awesome this will be to boil some water. All right, so again, we have one liter of water. We're gonna go ahead and see how long it takes to boil this on the solar flame. We'll be back. 
So after about 15 minutes with the solar flame, we've come to right at about 200 degrees. We can't really crest that. So we're at a very slow boil, not a rolling boil. So let's go ahead and check out the next one. I've got my one liter of water. We're gonna go ahead and see how long it takes to boil. I'm gonna place it right here on the solar burner. Place my temperature right over here. We'll see how long it takes. All right. It's been about 12 and a half minutes and we are at a full rolling boil with the solar burner. Right, we're back here with the Sun Chef. We're gonna go ahead and see how long it takes to boil one liter of water. Place it right on here. We'll be back to see how long it takes. All right, back here again after 14 minutes. We are at a slow boil. Because this is not as large of a parabolic, it will not reach temperatures to produce a rolling boil. So let's go ahead and check out the next one. All right, now we're on to the sole source. So again, one liter of water. We're gonna see how long it takes to come to a rolling boil. See you in a minute. All right, we're back here after 13 and a half minutes. We now have a full rolling boil. So let's go ahead and check out the next one. This is our last and final cooker for the day testing. This is the Cook Up 200. The same standards apply on this, one liter of water. We're going to see how long it'll take to boil or see where it's at at 15 minutes. So it's been 15 minutes and our temperature on this one is only 140 degrees. So we failed on being able to align the sun with the bottom of the pot because we can't either look under and see the focal point or there is no focal points on the sides. So we're just going to have to say this one's failed. However, all of our other cookers did a wonderful job. We're gonna go ahead and post the reviews on YouTube. So don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment below, and we'll see you in a bit.